Welcome to another edition of SledShot.com. Today we're going to uh, do a little clutch start. Um, scenario is recoil broke. This is a non-electric start. So gave the recoil a pull. If it broke or came undone, how do you start your sled? So first things first, get out your toolkit. Okay, so in your toolkit, Bombardier stock toolkit, there's a cord like this and a little plastic clasp like this. So the big thing, you gotta connect the cord to the clasp and you gotta make sure you're doing it in the right direction. So for me to remember, I always sit down, and hook the clasp on, and then I know I gotta be pulling the cord in a counterclockwise direction the same as it would when you were when it was in drive. So I stick my rope, the cord through the clasp, and then just tie a knot. Like so. And then set the clasp in a position and wrap the cord, like I said, counterclockwise. And they even give you this little holster for the cord to sit in. Basically, the process here is give it a good solid yank, and now we'll get the primary spinning. So you're essentially just jump starting the motor. So make sure your kill switch is up. Kind of set it into position. We're going to get the most bang for your buck. But make sure you wear goggles or turn away, because when you pull it, that clasp is just going to come off the end, so you don't want to get it in the face. So get a good grip on it. And then give it a yank. First try. Woo! Okay, so that was pretty lucky for it to work first try. The machine was warm already. Sometimes it takes a pull or two. And if the machine's cold, obviously turn the choke on and go from there. But that's the basics of a clutch start with the stock ski to clutch, clutch start tool. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you on the snow.